them back because they beat you when you were at Hawaii. Just what was that post game locker room like, and then the reaction you guys had to getting ranked later that week? Um, yeah, well, first of all, the tweet was about Illinois and Oregon. Uh, played both of them last year um, in both both games. I was tied at halftime with both teams and ended up losing, but it just felt good to you know get some get back and just have um, some team success and that I know that's a really big game and the energy in the locker room was great, but, you know, we're not satisfied with just, you know, being ranked or um, just winning uh, the bragger rights game. We have bigger plans. So, you know, we're still focused and still locked in. Uh, Mason. Hey, Drew, now that you're five games into your time at Mizzou, how do you feel that you've gelled with the rest of your team coming in? Uh, I feel like I'm just um, great, as you can see. Uh, you know, we're undefeated right now, and you know we're playing some pretty good basketball. I'm um, just still taking it. It's a long season. Still, um, still got time to continue to make my impact felt and continue to um, have an impact on this roster. But I, I feel like I gel great with this group. Um, you know, we have a great group that's getting after, playing really well, and um, you know I really am excited about what we can do this year. Dave. Drew, what, what is the adjustment like from just not playing the same role or as, or as many minutes as you were at Hawaii? Um, you know, it's that I came here to win, uh, first and foremost. Uh, you know, I, I feel great. I feel um, my job is to come in and just make an impact in the minutes I'm given and control what I can control. And, uh, and that's just how I play out there, how I run the team. So that's been my main focus is just to come in and make an impact. No matter how many minutes I get, I want to have an impact on the game. Kate, go ahead. Drew, we talked to a lot of the football players about this, and I know you're not that far into this season, but just I, what kind of sacrifices are you guys having to make, and how, how different is everything away from basketball to make sure that, that you get this season played? Um, yeah, it's, it's different. You know, people are sacrificing time that we may normally get to spend with family or, you know, just other times just to stay locked in, stay focused, stay safe, um, continue to practice being uh, socially distant and, um, you know, just taking all the right protocols. But this is something that, you know, we all want. We all wanted to have a special season this year. We all knew that we were capable of it. And so we all talked about before the season about the sacrifices that are going to have to be made in order to be successful this year. Mike? And Drew, does the does the does the national does the ranking bring more pressure? Is it a more pressure thing to to be ranked, or is it more of a, a, a motivation type factor? I believe it's more of a motivation type factor. Um, you know, we don't try to make it like a pressure situation. We we enjoy the um, the recognition that we're finally getting, and we feel that's well deserved. But um, you know, we're not too concerned with that. We know we know what we're capable of. We know the type of team we are. And so each and every night, we just want to come in and prove that to everybody. Mason? Mason, did you have a question? No, I didn't. Sorry. Uh, Suichi? Hey, Drew, all, all your teammates call you Coach Bugs. Is, is, is that something kind of you're doing new here at Mizzou? Or are you kind of just taking that, you know, from from your time at Hawaii or what, what's that kind of like just kind of taking a leadership role? Like it's kind of like a coach um, and, and consoles talk very highly of you and everything, too. Um, that's something that I've always just kind of had. I've always been a vocal leader, um, but, you know, it just means a lot being able to come into a new group of guys like this and then being able to. Um, be accepting of what I have to say and listen and um, what I what I say carries some weight. So that just means a lot. Um, you know, we got a great group of guys here, a great group of players that, you know, they don't they don't have to listen to what I say, but they do because, you know, we got guys that want to be better and we got a really good team that, like I said, we're all hungry. We all want to be the best we can be.